medals that everybody grab a broom. It's shenanigans. Welcome back, everybody. This is First Amendment shenanigans. I apologize. I haven't been posting uh, lately. I got very busy at work. And then, like most people now, I ended up getting sick. And I basically spent the last week and a half in bed. And I'm glad I'm feeling a little bit better. Still fighting it off a little bit. But I thought it was important to hop back on here. And, uh, you know, post a video. So today we're in Charlestown, New Hampshire. And we, unfortunately, are with Press New Hampshire Now. He is definitely a special type of stupid. And hopefully we'll be in jail one day. And he won't be able to infect his local community with any more of his nonsense. So without further ado, let's see what he's up to. Down with me too. Yeah. Oh, I got arrested by you last week. I got assaulted by Jeff Lessels. Then I got my tire slash all in one week, cars. What's gonna happen next time? What's gonna happen? That was just part of his uh, intro. I thought was funny. And this page right here. I'm gonna freeze frame this. Donations greatly appreciated. PayPal and Cash App. All links in the description. This is the problem with these people. I don't know. Who is sending these morons money? But in this recession that we're in, we're definitely in a recession. I don't care what side of the political aisle you're on. People are hurting. Groceries are up. Gas is up. Everything is up. And these pieces of garbage expect you to send your hard-earned money to them. For doing what? For bothering people? Is it that much of entertainment Like, learn to play an instrument or something. At least give us something of value. Tell a joke. Do something that might help someone. And maybe I'll send you a dollar. But you bothering random people doing their jobs? I don't understand how that's entertainment. All right, so obviously the moron is out. It's 12.15, 5.30 at night. There seems to be someone in distress here. I don't know about you, but at 5.30 at night, I'm at home, I'm getting ready for dinner, I'm talking to my wife about our days, I'm not out on the street trying to film someone who's obviously in distress for no good reason. And you know why I'm not doing that? Because I'm a decent human being. And that's really what this video is going to be about, decency. Because yes, he's not breaking any laws, and unfortunately, this doesn't end in some grand arrest, which would be awesome. But we're going to talk about decency. Did I? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, did you hit him? Did you? No. What the I just f- want you videotaping him. Get the, the f*** out of my face, dude. Hit. Why? Don't, come at, don't come at me like that, dude. He doesn't want you around. He's give injured f- on the ground. I don't care. You don't care about anybody's privacy? Privacy in public? What are you, f- stupid? Go talk to the office if you got a problem with him. He's the one that's got a problem with it. He said, I don't want that guy filming me. I don't care. I have oh, rights. Oh, you don't care about I have people. rights. Oh, not so feelings. his rights aren't, aren't important. What rights does that? All right, so what that guy is doing, obviously he's in the wrong telling this moron that he can't film. He obviously can film. It's public. You can film anything you want in public. We've I've talked about that a couple times. Everyone will admit that. But here's the kicker. Should you? Should you be filming a person in distress. We see this in the news way too often. Someone gets hit, someone gets hurt, someone falls down. Someone is a, is about to get hurt. And instead of aiding the person, we decide to pull our cameras out and film it. Someone's getting mugged, we film it. Someone gets into a car accident, our first response is to film it. Now, not to share too much information with you, but again, I was a teacher. I was also a lifeguard. I was taught that when you see a situation, someone in danger, someone needing help, you react. You go and help that person. You don't film them, especially when they're on the ground in distress. You might be filming the lowest part of their lives right now and putting it on the internet for the world to see. This might be this gentleman's worst day of his life and now you're putting it on the internet to make a couple of bucks how dare you and you should be ashamed of yourself
What and amendment? You're, you're what amendment of privacy are you talking about? The person that's injured on the ground uh -huh. who doesn't want you videotaping. Yeah. He has no rights. He rights of what? Right privacy. Of privacy after somebody's hit him in with public. A car? Yeah. You okay? Put a tent up. There's your privacy. Oh, well, get the fuck out of here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Fuck you go Watch out for traffic, buddy. Watch out for traffic. I am. You want a cigarette, buddy? I'll give you a cigarette. I'll give him a cigarette. He don't care if I'm recording. You do, huh? There you go, buddy. Shut the f up. Here comes the tough guy. Now that this gentleman's walking away, now he's going to come over and start insulting the man, giving him crap for stopping and helping this gentleman, trying to protect his, his privacy a little bit, understanding that this situation could be volatile, and yet he's still going after this guy. Let them leave. Like, you know you can film in public. There's no reason to keep talking with them. Let them go. They did a good thing by helping this gentleman, calling the police, and now you're turning it into something bad because you're a piece of garbage. Yeah, he didn't have it wasn't That's fine. He's you should probably listen to her just so you're not hurt anymore, no, right, buddy? Me. He was accusing me of hitting you, that's all. Whoa. And I'm on foot. What a f idiot, huh? Well, it wasn't him. <laughs> this f sucker. Hey, I'm on foot, asshole. Right, boss, it wasn't him. Wasn't me either. Yeah. Hey, did he? Did he? Did Did you tell him that you didn't want me recording you? I don't know. You didn't say that, right? So he fucking, he lied. Go figure. I said nothing. You should have, but you should have. You should have. Protect my rights. No, what is it, Foster? Right? Okay. Her job in this Foster. situation is not to protect your stupid right to film anything you want in public. When she encounters yeah, someone who's really? been hit by a truck, allegedly, and is hurting on the side of the road, her job is to assess and make sure that this person doesn't need an ambulance, doesn't need medical attention immediately. Her default is, well, let's make sure that, uh, you know, News Now, New Hampshire, or whatever your dumb online name is, let's make sure that he has his filming in. Learn how to de-escalate. Yeah, well, when people like that come at me. I love it. Even the guy who just got hit by a truck is telling you to calm down because he sees that you're a lunatic. <coughs> I don't need this. I understand, man. I got gotcha. you. There you go. Hey, all she gives a f about is your f name and address. That's all she cares about, dude. She didn't ask for any medical or anything that you need. She didn't ask you if you need help. I had medical she don't give a wow, she, she has first aid. She cares more about your name and address for NCIC checks. If you would shut your stupid trap for two seconds you, and listen to her, she already said she called EMS for this gentleman. In an emergency situation when someone might be seriously injured, you do not want them going into shock. A way to do that is to calmly talk with them, ask them simple questions, talk to them about something they might know to keep them busy and occupied and their mind off their possible injuries. Obviously, this person doesn't look like he's seriously injured, but that's what you do, okay? You ask them nice questions. You talk about their day, their family, anything to get them still talking. He might have a bad concussion. We don't want him passing out. But again, you don't know anything about that because you're a loser and all you do is bother people for a living. She don't give a f you're on the ground. It's just more paperwork for her.
flagged on, I flagged that person down to stop. Yeah. That's all. That's good. She did nothing wrong. Alright, dude came over there. You know what type of vehicle it is? What? You know what type of vehicle it is? F-250. Did you, do you have anybody looking for that vehicle? It's a little f***ing late for that. Yeah, you should probably call that in, huh? To state police. Again, he puts this on his screen. Fails to de-escalate. Fails to send out Bolo on vehicle. The immediate attention when someone is injured is the injury. They can find the vehicle later. They can put out a search. They're not going to find it now. It's dark out. She's obviously on a deserted road. Hey, I don't know how many people they have in their department. I don't know who's working tonight. Hey, she is trying to make sure that this gentleman gets her medical, his medical attention first. Make sure he's squared away, he's not seriously injured, and then they will handle finding the possible truck that hit him. So it, it was a black ass Suzuki. Yeah, yeah. You want me to call it in? I could call it in. No, we want you to just shut Incredible. up. Incredible. This call is 15 minutes late. She's just now calling it in. It's right there. Not that. The other vehicle. I'll talk to Connors about it. No worries. Oh, more people with jobs are here. Let's get ready to criticize them, too. I'm recording this whole thing. Is that okay? Oh, I don't care. Well, uh, what? it's up to him, really. It's up to him. He's the patient, so this is his personal information. Oh, is it HIPAA? It is, yeah. Okay, you should probably protect that, then. Yeah, if he doesn't want yeah. it recorded. No, you should probably protect that, then. Okay. Yeah, don't blurt out personal information. Okay. Bring him to the truck or whatever the hell it is. Oh, yeah, that's a truck. It's a work truck, actually. You probably don't know anything about that. But this is what I was talking about, about decency. EMS is here. They're trying to assess if this gentleman has any serious injuries. And the one EMT probably said, well, you know, he might not want to be right up here. He might have to tell us something important about his medical history. Wouldn't you back up a few feet? Okay, give them some room to work. Not be a complete moron. You know, in school, we're taught certain things. We're taught to be a good person, to help each other, keep our hands to ourselves, be kind, courteous. Hey, from my favorite Christmas movie, those two little words, they always stay new. They never get old. Those two little words, please and thank you. Hey, those are all the, the little lessons we learned at school. Obviously, this guy skipped that day and probably most days, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's yeah. probably a good idea. Yeah. There you go. No expectation of privacy there, EMS. Yeah, you go. Incredible. Damn, I gotta teach them about HIPAA laws too. You know I can't violate HIPAA laws, right? Hey, you know it's impossible for me to violate HIPAA laws, right? Okay, yeah. Still recording, thank you. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Just let me know over here, please. Wow.
Wow, this is some hard hitting stuff. Let me film inside. Maybe she has a snack. Charlestown, New Hampshire. It's been a while there, guys. Been a while. And he's just standing there, obviously filming nothing. This is the best part, though. The officer's gonna come back and just like beeline for her truck and not give him the time of day. Watch this. What was your name and badge number again, please? What was your name and badge number? What is your name and badge number? For the record, please. Oh, you fing piece of shit. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know if you could hear it, but she just said, you already know it. Like, leave me alone. She gets in her car and she drives off. That is amazing. There she goes. Charlestown PD for you. All over again. Failure to identify. Failure to de-escalate. Failure to comply. Make sure you redress. File complaints. And the video ends there. He stands on the side of the road, cries and complains because the police officer wouldn't indulge him. She just drove off, probably like most young ladies that see him. She just hopped in her car and took off and didn't give him the time of day. I mean, I would think I would be used to that by, by now if I were him. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, he's not arrested this time, but he does look like a complete moron. Well, that's it for this one. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. I really, uh, I really do enjoy it. Um, I'm having fun commenting and interacting with you guys, so please keep it up. I'm, I'm super excited for this. And if I don't see you before or talk to you before, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and a great New Year. Oh, one last thing. Press New Hampshire now. Mother, I just want to say, I really hope you fucking get Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs>